Hello everyone <clears throat> and welcome to day nine of the April testimony challenge. I hope you're doing well. Um, it's been a, a good Saturday uh, here where we are, which is in South Georgia. Um, actually the weather's been kind of cool, which is uh, not normal here for uh, April. Um, but it's just been a great day and uh, and so we are uh, um, I was just thinking before I went live that we are uh, approaching a week and a half of our testimony challenge and so it is uh, going by fast it's been so wonderful just uh, all the different people that have been on sharing testimonies um, if you did not get a chance to catch yesterday's you know in in uh, just everything uh, going on in the world everything uh, that's going on we could always use more joy and I'm telling you if you just want an infusion of joy I want to encourage you to go actually watch day eight's testimony um, uh, as soon as this is over and uh, you will be infused with outrageous joy uh, when you just see it the testimony and the joy of the Lord on uh, friends of ours Nathan and Ariana Tally it was just amazing and so today we're on day nine and we actually I have a hot off the presses testimony about an hour and a half ago I got back from uh, shopping at Walmart and uh, uh, we were um, I was just there getting a few items and um, and so this is a testimony just before I get into it because the testimony part is pretty quick is uh, listening uh, without sounding super cliche, listening to that still small voice, but really just listening to the Holy Spirit when when He is saying, "Hey, this is an opportunity," and uh, and so I was shopping. I was uh, honestly in a little bit of a hurry. Um, just had two or three things to grab uh, for dinner tonight, and while I was there. I actually heard someone say, "Excuse me," and I turned around, and uh, this uh, lady said. Um, she said, hey, do you, would you mind grabbing a case of waters for me? I'm pregnant. And, uh, and I just responded to her very friendly. I just said, oh, my wife just had a baby, so I know exactly how you're feeling. Let me get that for you. And I grabbed the case of water and put it in her cart um, and really then struck up a conversation because, uh, because Joanna has just had a baby. And so it, it allowed us to just talk. And I was asking her about how far along she was. And and then just in the middle of talking, uh, this is what I was talking about previously, is I just, I felt like I just heard briefly uh, just this thing from the Holy Spirit that just said, this is an opportunity. And it honestly could have been easily missed. And, uh, and so much of the time with the Lord, that's it. It's just learning to just lean in a little bit and just hearing his voice, even in the moment of a conversation. And so I just started asking the Lord, well, what do you want to say to her? And I heard the Lord just say, uh, she needs to know that she's going to be an amazing mom. And so just as we were talking and, and sharing and and, uh, and uh, talking about the pregnancy, uh, just at the end, I was able to just share with her um, that uh, I found out where she worked and it actually wasn't too far from where our church is. And so I was just telling her uh, about our church, but I just said, you know, I really feel like God wants you to know that you're going to be a really good mom. And she said, thank you. But then it's like I heard the Holy Spirit say, you need to tell her again. And I I said, uh, and I heard the phrase, you were, you were born to be a mom to this child. And so I just said, no, I said, I said, the Lord really wants you to know you're going to be a good mom. And I said, I said, you were, you're anointed to be a mom and you're going to have an amazing child, but, but the Lord wants you to know you're going to be a good mom. And she just started crying a little bit and and uh, and just really thanked me. And, and really, that was it. There, there wasn't an opportunity to pray, but just to to bless her. And, and I, in fact, told her I know exactly where she works. And so I told her I was going to check on her uh, from time to time and just see how she was doing. But it just was a it just was a a ministry opportunity that could have been easily passed by just helping a lady out and putting the water in the cart and then just you know, saying you're welcome and going on, but the ability to just, to just wait and hear the Holy Spirit that, uh, that he's always talking and he always has good things to say for people. And so it just was a, uh, 
a really good testimony for day nine. We we kind of had a, not a schedule, but we have a list of testimonies, but we wanted to tonight to be just that, that this testimony happened literally with, within the last hour and a half of the, of Jesus moving and touching someone's heart and and hearing his his thoughts towards her uh touched her in such a deep way and so I just uh I just want to pray right now um uh that uh I, I just was sensing just to pray to end tonight that our ears would be constantly attuned to the Holy Spirit to hear when he is saying uh just like he he said to me uh uh, don't miss this moment or there's a moment here and and then knowing that God is wanting to do something and so Lord I just I release right now the grace to be sensitive to you in such a way that we hear you even when shopping carts are crossing paths that uh, that will hear your voice to say that you're wanting to speak and to move and to minister to someone uh, that we may not even know and so, Lord, we release that grace right now in Jesus' name over whoever's listening now, over whoever li will listen later. Lord, the grace to hear your voice in the moment and act quickly to see you do mighty works in, in people. In the name of Jesus, amen. So keep the testimonies coming. Uh, we, we love to get them the feedback. We've gotten such tremendous feedback of how touched people have been from the various testimonies that have uh, been shared already. We'll be back on tomorrow for day 10. Uh, uh, we just bless you all in Jesus' name. We love you and we'll see you tomorrow.